On Wednesdays, it's in the library, room 57 and room 85. And on Thursdays, it's in the library, room 81 and room 38. And if you have any further questions, you can check out the Instagram at Montgomery Peer Tutoring. If you need help, make sure you go to Peer Tutoring at Guide to Study. Bye, Vikes. Hey, hey, what's that? The speaker we play music on. Oh my gosh, if you want to hear your music played at lunchtime, go to the Montgomery Instagram page and submit your songs, they have to be clean, to the Google form. This week we got the upcoming winter sports. Hey guys, I'm here with Hayden. And what's your expectation for the soccer season? Uh, I think we'll probably make playoffs. I don't know how far we'll get because we lost a lot of good players to like MLS next and stuff. But I think we'll we'll definitely make playoffs at least, if not win everything. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm here with Bobby, Donovan. And what are you guys' expectations for this? Basketball season. Um, I think we're gonna have a really good season. We've got a great group of guys coming in, and I think we're just gonna ball out. Um, yeah, we're gonna win a lot of games, more than football, so you should come. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. I'm here with Michael. And what are your expectations for this wrestling season? Uh, I want to win at NCS and make it to state tournament. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Natalie Ortiz. And what are your expectations for this soccer season? I think we're going to be really good this year because we have really good captains who are really focused on winning this year, and we're just going to be a better team. Thank you. Why do you guys look so sad? Because we really want pie. We want pie. Well, you're in luck. Pie day. Tomorrow. Come to the quad at lunch. Yay! Although skateboarding isn't a specific club at our school, it is very common throughout Monty and we wanted to acknowledge the skaters at our school. Skateboarding comes from the U.S., specifically Southern California, through surfing. You may see people doing it professionally, like at the Olympics, or just doing it for fun at local skate parks. Make sure to look out for our Viking skaters on campus. Plo! 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 Plo, plo, plo. Uh, hello guys. Um, what's your favorite thing to eat on Thanksgiving? For sure, bread. Uh, why? I don't know. It's just good, and there's butter. Oh, uh, gravy. Yum, yum. Yo, what's going on, fit? Where's everybody at? Yo, yeah, yeah, what's, what's, what's going on? What's going on? What you got going on? Yo, my wife made an apple pie. I had to bring it oh, to her. Yup, yup. I got that cranberry and bread pie. Oh, my wife made it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but hold on. What do you think the best dish is? I'm here with. Uh, Lucky. And what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? I was gonna say some good cornbread. I think it's good. Everybody loves cornbread. Yeah. I'm here with. Yuri. Oh, it's gotta be chicken salad. <laughs> it's a chicken salad on 81st W. I'm here with Yoni. And what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Probably like some mac and cheese. Yeah. Sam. Sure. Alright, I'm here with Addison and Carlene. And the question is, what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, my favorite Thanksgiving dish is turkey. My favorite is mashed potatoes. My favorite is ham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with. Ivy. And what is your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Uh, I like mac and cheese. Everybody loves mac and mm. cheese. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. But my wife did it better. No, my wife did it better. No, 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 no. We, we made the better dish. No, I'm sorry, we did. No, 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 no. I said we made the better dish. No, I'm not even gonna do this right now. You have a happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why we did it better. What? What's up, Vikings? What are you guys having for dinner tonight? I know I'm going to Los Tres Chili's on Yalupa Ave for a dining donate for Montgomery. Hey, 
Thanksgiving break is around the corner. No school, so it's the perfect time to sleep in. And wear pajamas all day. Here's some of Monty's comfiest PGs. Hey, um, hey guys, I'm Layla and I'm here with... Zoe! They've got some pretty amazing pajamas on. Oh, where do you guys get your pajamas from? I got them from Amazon and Mom's. <laughs> the student store has announced some new pajama pants. What do you think about that? I'm, I already got them. That's what's up. I did! You mocked all the I'm Noelle, I'm here with. And then I got my sweater and shoes from Nike and my pajamas from Costco. See you next time. Hey Vikings, if you missed the mascot trials yesterday, that's all right. We have one right now in the student union. It's the last one. Go and fill out the Google form before you go. Hello and welcome back to Montgomery Wildlife. This week we return to the Student Union for Montgomery's own Climate Summit. For the summit, several groups of students have put together wonderful presentations on how we can fight climate change together. Now let's learn a little about it, shall we? Hi everybody, my name is Lizzie Byswinger. And I'm Ismiti Pande. And we're going to talk to you about our climate change project. The name of our project is Flip the Switch because as you can see here we have a power strip. And um, pretty much we're going to talk to you a little bit about phantom energy. When a cord or um, a charger is plugged into your outlet at home, even if it's not in use or you're away at school or you're at work, energy is still getting siphoned into that outlet. So by having a power strip, it's one simple flip of the switch and that way you're able to save energy. And I'm at the uh, Montgomery High School Climate Summit here um, and my climate action is composting. Um, it's actually, I didn't know this before we started this and started researching it, but uh, composting is actually really, really good for the environment. Um, uh, it, it helps like take carbon out of the atmosphere and helps you allocate your waste in a better manner to where you're, um, tr it's not just ending up in a landfill, um, but is actually being used as like fertilizer and to enrich the soil, and it, it really improves soil health. And I mean, it, it's fairly easy. You just have like your compost bin that I think California, in California, our uh, waste companies are required to give us one of these little compost bins. So you just throw away your compost in it after you eat and then you you know at the end of the week you throw it out in your yard or something and you're composting thank you for watching this episode of montgomery wildlife we'll see you next week hi vikings i'm here with miss reed and why are you wearing your flannel because it's comfy and warm that's why you guys should wear your flannel tomorrow for the spirit day flannel day